Can I ask you a question? Go on then, what is it? Why do you do this job? Uh, because it's my job. Um, would you like to start a business of your own? No. What if I said I would set you up to be your own sign company, you don't have to hold someone else's sign, would you be interested? No. You just want to hold someone else's sign? Yes. What did you do before you held someone else's sign? Oh, various things, lots of things. What was your favourite thing you've ever done? Holding a sign. I try to help people start their own businesses and a lot of people in life are holding someone else's sign and, and you're advocating that's the best way to live. Uh, well, I don't want to spend all my life doing that. Hopefully I'll retire when I'm 70, so you know... I don't Will you retire it. holding someone else's sign by the time you're 70? Uh, well, yeah, that's the plan. If you do your own sign business, you will be able to retire by 70. If you keep holding someone else's sign, I'm afraid I feel like um, you, you won't. You don't know, do you? I retired at 40 yeah. uh, yeah. by not holding someone else's sign, so I'm kind of on a mission to help other people realise the same. But do you know what I mean? Joking aside, do you know what I mean? Well, are you retired? Yes. Why are you going up and down the street interviewing people if you're retired? It's time I gave back and helped other people have the life they want and stop being in jobs they hate and start realising that minimum wage is not enough and that people should have the life they want and it shouldn't be held back by their education. Uh, well, very, very good luck with that. I hope you have a good day in Oxford. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, mate. Before I start your own business, I want to help you do it. I'm a multimillionaire and I help people start businesses for free. I don't want anything in return. Have you thought about starting your own business? I actually have in the past. Yes! <laughs> I knew it! I could tell by the walk. Yeah? What would you do? Perfect. Perfect! So you see people like him, people yeah. like him. Yeah. Most people when they work out, you know, they work out by themselves. And the main reason of that is, you know, they haven't got no one to work out yeah, with. Yeah, I agree. This Their friendship group is, totally. you know, they may be far away or they may be on different time scales. However, I'm trying to build a platform where Let's say, for example, I want to go for a jog right now at 6 p.m. Yeah. Three mile jog, who wants to go with me? Brilliant. There's no platform right now. Brilliant. To go you also put gyms out of business because the reason people don't go to gyms is because they're not motivated to go to the gym. You need a exactly. companion, so, someone to motivate you to go. Exactly. And, so. and I think you that is a brilliant idea. Let, let's help you. I've got a feeling you're going to make a difference. I'm going to buy you lunch. There's some money for lunch. To show you that this, is, this isn't a joke, I want to help you. So right, there's some money for lunch, and then uh, connect with us and me and the community that help people start businesses. I've got a feeling about you. You're meant to build something that's going to help humanity. I've got a feeling. So let's what's, help what's you, that? Yeah. What's that feeling? How I don't you... know. Just an instinct. I know entrepreneur. I've invested in 76 startups. Yeah, some of the most successful businesses in the world. I can just sense things. Yeah, so I could just sense it. I want to hug you, man. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's do it. Let's go for a run. Let's go. Ready? Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> would you ever start a business of your own? Uh, most definitely yes. Most definitely yes, I love that answer. What would you do? I already have like some dropshipping. Uh, I'm doing some dropshipping on Etsy okay. right now. What is it you love about what you're doing now? Every, everything on Etsy, for example. Uh, when people like your stuff, you can go into their page and you can see what else they like. So couldn't you build a data analytical business that l helped everyone who had an Etsy store figure out what you're talking about? It sounds like you like the data. Well, that could be a very real possibility. That. So what do you need to get it going? Uh, funding. How much do you need? 10 grand. So you don't need 10,000 um, pounds. I think you just need one client and you need to help them and then take a percentage of their increase in sales. How much will that cost you to do that? Then it'll be free. Exactly. So you just started a company. Can I ask you a question? If you've ever thought about starting a business of your own? Um, I've thought about it. And what's stopping you doing it? Confidence. Confidence. What's the idea? Have you got the idea? Um, I'd like to do online coaching for fitness. I definitely need it. So, so how much are you going to charge me to be your first subscriber to your channel that does this? Um, introductory rate, 150 a month. Yeah, I think that sounds reasonable to me. We need to come up with a name for your business. I'm going to get the money out to pay you for the first session. And while I'm doing that, you're going to come up with a name, okay? okay. Have a little brainstorm. I haven't come up with a name. I can't take <laughs> it from you. I think you can make this happen. This is like interventions. Could be the moment where you're like, oh, I can do this, right? I'm your first client. My name is Simon Squibb. I look forward to receiving my first training video. When do you think I'll receive it? I need a couple of days, I think. <laughs> well, I look forward to hearing from you and everybody listening can also follow you and potentially become your client. Okay. So um, awesome. today you started a business. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> Overwhelmed. <laughs> hey guys, would you ever start a business of your own? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? Too risky. No, it's not. It's more risky to work for someone else that might just fire you tomorrow, don't you think? <laughs> well, from the point of view, yes. <laughs> you look like you do like hair product or something really cool, like a barber's. <laughs> I'd totally buy that from you. Why not try it on the side and see what happens? Well, he's a hairdresser. <laughs>
<laughs> I knew it. See, I've got intuition. And so, uh, why not do your own products? What is there to risk? You could do it on the side. I thought about it. So, what's stopping you? Money. How about uh, I buy your first product, hundred pounds? No. Absolutely. There you go. I'm buying your hair product. Now we need to come up with a name. So, what's your name? Raphael. Raphael. I, I don't know if that's a trademark problem, but I kind of like no, it. Ruffle hair. Ruffle hair. I love it. Uh. I. <laughs> That's it, a brand has been born. Yes. Please, when you're ready, send me the product. I, I totally want to look oh as cool God. as you. Are you and uh, I'm 100% serious. I want to help people realize they can start a business. You can have control of your own destiny. And I'm going to back you. Oh, thank you. We're doing um, a documentary on whether people would like to start their own business. Is this something you've ever thought about? I'm actually starting my own business very soon. Oh, exciting. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to be a self employed tattoo artist. That's amazing. Um, and then soon to be opening a tattoo studio very soon. I've never had a tattoo. Uh, I want to be your first customer. Can I be your first customer? I mean, if you message me on Instagram, I'll give you my... Do you know what? A quick 101 on business. I'm standing in front of you right now. I want to pay you to, to, to give me a tattoo. How much would you charge me to do that? Any quote. About 200 quid maybe. 200 quid. All right. I'm going to give you 200 quid uh, in advance now. I'm going to be your first customer for your new business because I want to support your new business. No, no. I want to be... See what I mean? Like, don't wait for me to go on Instagram and pay you. Take it straight off people when they say they're interested, right? Yeah. And have a good lesson in business. Oh, I'll have a <laughs> I look forward to being your first customer. Thanks. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. I'm really happy thank for you. you. Really excited. I'm excited as yeah. well. Yeah. Awesome. All right, great. Looking forward to seeing your business open up. And thanks for the coffee. Thank you so much. Honestly, that's a blessing. Hey there, mate. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever thought about starting your own business? Uh, yeah, I uh, actually do self I'm self employed illustrator. It's just a natural passion you had when you were a kid? It was the only thing that anyone ever told me I was any good at. Yeah, no, so wow. Yeah. I wanted to do. Wow. Yeah. What's, your, what's your name? Uh, Jack. I, I'm Simon Squibb on TikTok and I have a, a big following now of people that like to support people in their dreams. And I'd like to give you a little bit of money to help you with your, your dream and buy some of your work uh, virtually, conceptually, but really just to support you to uh, carry on with your dream and don't ever give up. Uh, I just ordered a load of prints online to uh, start selling it. It's amazing. That's, that's a good start and I believe in fate and uh, I'm, I'm excited for you to do your own business. We'll put this up on TikTok so if anyone fancies supporting you and your dream, uh, then, then they will. Good luck, mate. Have you ever dreamed of starting your own business? I have, of course. And what would you do if you could start anything? A uh, concierge company. It's a really good idea. And what's stopping you doing it? What can we do to help you make it happen? What can you do? You need to give me some money. How much do you need? Oh, I need about 100. 100? Yeah. You didn't say how much. I was going to give you a hundred pounds then. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Look. Do you know what's really funny? I'm going to give you a hundred pounds. Okay. Really, it's for you. Yeah. And I promise you, yeah. that's all you need to start your business. Do you know that? You, me, because you've got, you've clearly got great clients already. You probably know a lot of good people, yeah. and you could just start saying you're doing this business and ask them how you can help them, and then start charging commission when you place people places. You yeah. can start actually doing it, and all you need to do is come up with a company name. Have you thought of a company name? AG. Okay, AG Concierge. One thing I'd add: put purpose in there, like what what it does to make humanity have a better existence. So maybe percentage of your profits to charity, or some element of supporting something that really matters to you. Maybe a problem that you see in the world that matters to you. I'd like to help people uh, in poor countries. That's amazing. Thank Good luck to you, sir. All right, have a. You give it to the charity you care about, but start your business to help them in a bigger way with your I own business. Sir. And I promise I'll give the whole of it to the charity I know. Respect you. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Nice